Today's topic is about power. I'm sure you've come across the word power. If someone has power, they have a lot of control over people or activities. But we're not going to talk about that kind of power. Today, we are going to talk about the concept of power. Power is the rate of work done in a second or the energy used per second. Power is measured in units of watts or joules per second. Therefore, one watt of power is produced when one joule of work is done in a second. We seem to have mentioned the word work and time a couple of times. So let's see the relationship between power, work and time. The relationship between power, work done and time is represented in the following formula. Power equals to work done divided by time. Therefore, if we want to calculate the power produced when one joule of work is done in one second, we know that the answer is one watt. Let's do a simple exercise to solve problems relating to power. We shall use the formula power equals to work done divided by time. Now, the situation is as follows. My friend Ali does 30 joules of work in 5 seconds when he pushes a box. Now, calculate the power involved, then substitute the values of work done and the time taken. Power equals to 30 joules, which is the work done, divided by 5 seconds, which is the time. That makes 6 watts or 6 joules per second. So, the power that Ali used to push the box is 6 watts or 6 joules per second. Now, let's do another one. Azman, the strongman, pushes a car over a distance of 3 meters with a force of 400 newtons in 10 seconds. Now, calculate the power. Remember, use the formula power equals to work done divided by time. First, we must calculate the work done. Work done equals to force times distance. The force here is 400 newtons times the distance of 
3 meters, which makes it 1,200 newtons. But since we want to calculate the rate of power, we need to divide 1,200 newtons with 10 seconds, which makes it 120 watts. So Azman, the strongman, uses 120 watts of power to push the car. Now, ready to try another one? Chi Liang weighs 45 kilograms, while Aziz weighs 50 kilograms. In a running event of 30 meters, Chi Liang took 15 seconds to complete the event while Aziz took twice as long. Now, who uses more power to complete the event? Let's see. First, formula. Remember, formula. Power equals to work done divided by time. We shall begin with Chi Leong. Work done is force times distance. We know the distance is 30 meters. But what about the force? Easy. Chi Leong weighs 45 kilograms and since the force of gravity for 1 kilogram of weight is 10 newtons, weight of Chi Leong, 45 kilograms, will be multiplied by 10 newtons. That makes 450 newtons. 450 newtons times the distance of 30 meters. So, work done is 13,500 Newton meters. We want to know the power that Chi Leong used. So, look at the formula again. Power equals to work done divided by time. We know that the work done is 13,500 Newton meters. So, the next thing is to divide it with the time that Chi Leong took to complete the distance, which is 15 seconds. So, Chi Leong uses 900 watts of power to complete the event. Now, let's see Aziz's performance. Power equals to work done divided by time. Work done is force times distance, then divided by the time to know the power used. So, 50 times 10 times 30 meters divided by 30 seconds, since Aziz took twice as long as Chi Leong to finish the event. Aziz used 500 watts of power to finish the event. Therefore, Chi Leong developed more power than Aziz. Now, 
Let's recall what we have learned so far. Power is the rate of doing work. The formula for power is work done divided by time. The unit for power is watts or joules per second. And that's today's lesson. Thank you and goodbye.